welcome to my kitchen and today I'm going to show you how I cook corn on the cob in my pressure cooker. This is the only way I ever cook corn on the cob anymore. It beats the heck out of boiling it. It takes way less time and it makes delicious corn on the cob. Perfect. It really does and it literally takes eight minutes and you aren't going to want to do it any other way. If you have an electric pressure cooker this is the only way to go. If you have a stovetop pressure cooker, I don't know how to use that, so please don't ask me. Um, I don't know if you can cook corn on the cob in one of those. So all I know is that I can cook this in my electric pressure cooker here. So what I have down here in the bottom, and I have already dry fit my corn cobs in here so that um, I could show you how to do this. I have just a little saucer that fits in the bottom. Now some of you have electric pressure cookers and mine did come with like a rack but it takes up too much room and the lid won't go on with six ears in here. Now I can probably fit nine ears of corn in my pressure cooker if I fit them in just right. So today I'm putting my saucer in upside down. I have about a cup of water in the bottom and then the way you want to put your corn cobs in is you want to put the fat side to one end and then the next one you want to opposite it and you want to put you know, so they fit in really nice. Now the next layer, you want to cross hatch it. Just like that. Now if I wanted to, I could probably fit, I would say, two more cobs on top so I could fit a total of eight. I think nine would be pushing it. Um, everybody's going to have a different size um, pressure cooker. So you're going to be able to, you know, play around with that on your own. We're going to close it up, we're going to plug it in, turn it on, and then I'm going to set it, mine I'm going to set on vegetable, and I'm going to set for 8 minutes. And then when we come back I'll show you what it looks like. Our pressure cooker is finished, and there is our perfectly cooked corn. Steamed up the camera. Uh oh. Yeah, it smells so good. It does. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. um, you don't lose any nutrition or flavor when you cook your corn in the pressure cooker. Perfect. Because you're not boiling everything out into the water. You're steaming it and it's still tender, crisp. It's not mushy. And then you can eat your corn any old way you like it with butter and like mine with lots of salt and cracked black pepper. And Molly likes to cut hers off the cob and enjoy hers that way. Mm -hmm. She's done it ever since she was a little kid. So, that is how you make really delicious and really easy corn on the cob in your pressure cooker. If you have one of these appliances, don't let it gather dust on the shelf. Get it down. Summer is coming. Corn season is here. And everybody loves a good corn ear of corn to sink their teeth into on a summer's night. It's the perfect accompaniment for so many meals. And when you can make it easily in your pressure cooker, why shouldn't you do that? So, I hope you try this. I hope you love it. I hope you're encouraged to get that pressure cooker down off of the shelf and try something new with it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Uh, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Google Plus and Blogger. I have a blog over there and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, NareensKitchen.com, where you will find printer-friendly versions of those recipes so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!